music is a very passive experience and I agree with him with that. Music has become far too passive for people because music education is in crisis and you know music education is not there for everybody. <laughs> Hi there, welcome along to today's vlog. Now, I've had seven different goes at doing today's vlog. Um, the camera, my 5D fell and broke the HDMI cable wherever it's gone. Um, this is the reserve HDMI cable and that broke as well. I oh, know that was the proper one. Anyway, bit of a disaster. So if you are here for the first time, please kick a like and subscribe. If you're here for the 1000th time, you're very, very welcome. Next Sunday, the 21st of April, if you're watching this live, marks the eighth anniversary since I started doing vlogs. Uh, and I still haven't learned to turn my email off when I'm doing a vlog. What I want to talk about today, and this may age very, very quickly, a little bit like me, uh, is talk about Suno. Now, I only found out about Suno last week. If you don't know what Suno is, Suno is the chat GPT for music. It's the AI generator for songs and all sorts of music. So I've been having a play with it the last week and I thought, well it was actually yesterday, I thought I've got to make a vlog about this. I've got other vlogs I need to make for you including Sour's Mouthpieces and about Sicily and everything else like that but actually what I wanted to do today was to talk about Suno because I've been having some great fun with it but also I want to just talk about it, bring it to the community and just see where this might go. So I'm kind of not sure where to start. Let's go with, um, let's go for an early 90s hip hop song about a guy from Blackpool. And what you do, you just type in a prompt, just like you do on ChatGPT, you just give it a prompt and then see where it goes to. So we're going with Sax and the City. Well, it's got one thing wrong. Blackpool's not a city. Um, but let's see what it comes up with. The first one I asked it to do was some smooth jazz about a road trip. Um, sadly, I don't know why I can't find that. Maybe it limits out what the songs you can go back and listen to. In the heart of Blackpool, where the streets are alive, there was a sax player, a smooth cat with his child. He blew his home with passion. Nah. Bit better. Kind of needs a sax part, really, doesn't it? There was a sax player, a smooth cat with his jive. He blew his horn with passion. His melody so sweet Capturing hearts of the people on every beat From the dimly lit clubs to the crowded city streets one thing right for pop songs it's in a terrible key to be a saxophone player now what it seems to do well is kind of genres of music that start computerized or are based around electronic music so for example i think the hip-hop stuff is pretty good um let's go to one of the hip-hop songs i put together yo listen up here's a story about a lady named fillory she was a cop on the streets but the motives were scary she played the game dirty turned it all around everyone thought she's righteous wearing a badge and crown she be patrolling the block, looking out for clues beneath that uniform. She had her own set of rules, she took them bribes. She played with fire, no one suspected her. She was the devil's desire. So I even asked it to write as a song about our blended family to see what it would come up with, and this is what it said. And it was love at first sight, two hearts colliding Shining bright in the night, they both had children from their past But they knew they could 
I mean, I even asked it to write a song about an actuary. In a world of equations, where the numbers collide, there's a mind calculating. Deep in the night, analyzing risk and trends, with precision and care, the actuary is in motion. That one didn't quite work. I went for a sort of more in country. A small town. <clears throat> That's to do something more bossa nova y, Stan Getz kind of style. What was quite good is I asked it to do it in English and Portuguese. I asked it to write me a classical song. Now for me it starts to struggle here because it can't replicate those orchestral sounds. Now maybe my ears are not as attuned to early 90s hip hop or EDM music as they are to jazz and classical. That's a distinct possibility. What's that mucky mark on my jumper day? So it can simulate the voice really, really well. Maybe because we're used to hearing more manipulated vocals now, more processed vocals. Whereas classical music, it's struggling. Those, those string sounds sound a bit fake. They sound not great. And then when I ask it to do jazz, It doesn't sound much better than my early 90s Casio keyboard demo button. You know, it's really not there. Nah. It kind of gets... Woke up this morning. Woke up this morning feeling... Walk to the so the prompt on here was an earthy blues solo about a cold hamburger. Woke up this morning, feeling mad and low. So the Walk guitar's kind of real, but the vocal's way over processed. Sure. So let's give it another prompt. Let's ask it to um, a choral... Chant about birds. So the lyrics are coming from ChatGPT, so it's not generating the lyrics itself, and it's a great example of how two AI engines can work together. Um, it is creating some interesting music, as, as you've heard, but I think it's struggling, and who knows where it's going to get to. This has only been kind of a couple of years in development. It's quite amazing. And, you know, to have fun with, it's great. What is it going to do for musicians? Well, I think people who write library music are going to be struggling. Um, I've got a couple of friends who do this for a living and sync licenses. They're going to really struggle with the... Um, <clears throat> their income's going to go because people are just going to turn to Suno and other tools like it. But a bit like copywriters <clears throat> in advertising, it isn't going to replace the best ones. Um, you know, one of the things that shocked me, there was a great podcast on the Rolling Stone, which one of my colleagues at work sent me. And he sort of said, oh, it opens it up, you know, it's music is a very passive experience. And I agree with him with that. Music has become far too passive for people because music education is in crisis. And, you know, music education is not there for everybody. Um, but that's no reason to throw the baby out with the bathwater and, and just generate everything AI. So here is a classical choral piece called Wings of the Sky. Will it beat John Rutter? This is not classical choral music. It's misunderstood me on that. So let's go a classical choir. Now, as a music lecturer, this concerns me a little bit. Are my students, I'm gonna take this jumper off because you've got a horrible mark here. Still not understood me. So it's not understood that one. A let's have a look. Um, classical orchestra with a short theme on stars. Maybe the AI doesn't wake up on a Monday morning and get this right. It's 
suspense where darkness meets light, the star shines. It's still good. It's not understanding me. Go over to Suno, have a play with it, maybe use it as a, a little bit of a practice tool. Maybe you can jam along like I did just before. But in all seriousness, um, it's worth having a look at. It can enhance things. Um, as I say, I think that the hip hop and the dance music kind of really work well on it. That's sort of stuff that is generated electronically. It seems to be able to uh, learn. It's not sampling, of course, it's creating it. Uh, it seems to be able to do that very, very well. But it'd be interesting to see where it goes. It can't do jazz, that's for certain, so I feel a little bit more comfortable. As a musician, do I have anything to fear from AI? Yes, definitely. But is AI going to replace music? I don't think so. I think music at its heart is something that is felt. We have a connection with those musicians and the music that we hear. Um, there's a lot of music now which is kind of overproduced anyway, isn't it? And maybe people do have a connection to that, but most people who are serious about music do not have a connection to that. Um, so I'm comfortable as a musician that human expression will always be there. AI can't feel. AI can't have emotion. It can only regurgitate and copy. It is a... It can't do anything original. It can't create. So all this is creation. No, it's not. It's kind of, it's regurgitating, it's learnt all the stuff and has, has modelled it and gone from there. Will it be able to do it in the future though? I mean, let's face it, with the exception of the early 90s Casio keyboard demo, um, there's a lot of interesting stuff there. In the heart of Blackpool Where the streets come alive A sax player, a smooth cat with his jive. He blew his horn with passion, his melody is so sweet, capturing hearts of the people on every Yeah. 